is there a number of items that's just too much for the drive through and that you should just go inside to order? I'm thinking about Taco Bell specifically and heard that Dylan once worked there. So is there a number of items where you're just being a jerk? You should really just go inside and order, save the people in the drive through save everyone behind you. Thoughts? I just want to, before, before Dylan answers, because I think Dylan should answer first, I want to point out to everybody who's watching on YouTube that Dylan is going full Bob Dylan today uh, with his hairstyle. I appreciate that little uh, nod. And then also, uh, for those of you who are only listening, which is virtually all of you um, via podcast, you're about to hear uh, how Dylan is, is sounding these days. And Dylan, you, go. I ate a butterfly. (laughs) It was so small. (laughs) Um, Am I reacting to the question? Is that what we're doing? Okay, (laughs) you're doing whatever you want with that. I threw it to you in a very weird way, and I put you on a very awkward spot. And I essentially just made fun of how you look. But uh, (laughs) fine, it's fine. This is this is just how I look now. This is just (laughs) my look. This is new home. New home. Having to do manual labor dylan yeah yeah i no amount of lifetime could have prepared me for this like my lifetime somebody's lifetime sure but not my lifetime um could have prepared me for this how many items had i feel like i'm really nicely when i'm answering this question how many items is too many items for the drive what is the threshold you know that's really hard. I don't know that the right answer doesn't feel like an exact number, but it feels like a feeling. Like if you're at your office getting an order or you've got a family of five and one of those kids has like six kids over for a sleepover, mm. there's a feeling that you get when you realize you're going to have to do this whole thing through the drive through. And I think you know what that feeling is, right? Like, yeah, you get that feeling like this is kind of a lot, and you're even reviewing the order. You're you're double checking quantities when you have to start double checking quantities of chicken quesadillas versus steak quesadillas. Mm. I think you're. I think you know. I think, but you, you probably, as the orderer, you probably feel it like one or two items past when the line should have been. Like I'm guessing that you sense it too late. And that the drive through employees would prefer you would have come in two items ago. That's right. And all of this is at the end of the day, if you want to go through a drive through and order 25 quesadillas and be that guy, like you're not technically doing anything wrong, to be clear. But there's, a, there's mm-hmm. certainly an etiquette piece. I remember working at fast food in high school and somebody would... There'd be like a a soccer tournament at the nearby park in our hometown. And somebody would come through and order like two quesadillas for every kid. And there's 15 kids on the team, right? So it's like, I need 30 chicken quesadillas. You're like, you have to know that that feels. Or it's like showing up at a restaurant when you've got a huge, you know, there's four families that get together after church. And nobody thinks to call ahead to the restaurant to see, like, I wonder if they can accommodate, hey, why don't we call them now? Because we'll be there in about 30 minutes. Let's give them a little bit of heads up. You're not technically doing anything wrong, but you know you're kind of being those people, right? So right. if you're okay being that person, the person on the other end of that will deal with it. Um, but I think everyone starts starts to have that little feeling in their gut when they know that uh, this is probably getting to the point where it's unreasonable and I should probably, if you're asking yourself the question, you probably, that probably means go inside, call Mm -hmm. ahead, whatever. Right. So yeah. Thoughtful answer. It's, it's one of those things where I have a family of five and because I have a family of five and not just two of us going through, we've talked about it before. I'm always asking the question on the way to the drive through that way myself as the driver, I know in my head and I've rehearsed it 
how I'm going to order everyone's food and where we're ready to go. Um, I feel like that's especially important if you're ordering for something like five people. Uh, but I, I'm also wondering if simplicity of order has something to do with it because uh, Dylan mentioned like, you know, what if I'm getting like 30 chicken quesadillas for the baseball team? And if it's a place that like doesn't do call ahead ordering or anything like that, I feel like drive through might be perfectly fine. If you're literally saying I want 30 chicken quesadillas just as they come, I'm going to go sit by the front door and wait on them. I feel like that that's perfectly good and acceptable. It wouldn't be perfectly good and acceptable to have like 30 different types of burritos and have to sit there and spiel through them all. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, there, there's also the like the simplicity of the order, but the complexity of the preparation. So like quesadilla was a bad example because it's the longest thing to make at Taco Bell because it has oh. to sit on a grill for two and a half minutes per quesadilla. And they usually only have one grill. So you can do two at a time times two and a half minutes times two and a half times two and a half. But the equivalent would be like, if you're calling the head to order, you know, to insert generic chain restaurant for a bunch of chicken tenders and fries, that's a lot different than 10 steaks. Yeah, like, yeah, there's Good a big point. difference in a, I'm ordering a bunch of wings and fries and I'm ordering a bunch of steaks with baked potatoes. Like, right. even though it's just 10 of the same thing, it's still there's the complexity there is quite a bit different. I love the nuance of the question or really the answer, because as you start to dig in, you're like, no, everywhere is calling if you're thoughtful enough. Like even your local Arby's can be a call-in restaurant and take call-in orders if you're thoughtful enough. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to say, "Hey, I'm coming from a baseball tournament. I need 20 roast beef sandwiches in about 30 minutes." Yeah. You know, how would you like me to do that? Would you like me to come in? Would you like me to just go through the drive-through? Are you going to start making them? You know, in the next 10 minutes, whatever. But it's really fascinating because it would change by restaurant, by order, by complexity of order. And I love the question. <laughs> so this question came in, I saw it, and I decided on my next Taco Bell visit, I was going to ask the kid at the window the question. And his answer was the third point you guys just made. It's not about specialty orders. It's about the complexity of each item. Right. Some items are very fast. If you're doing... 30 soft tacos, not a problem. 30 quesadillas, big problem. Like, but the average person doesn't know that or appreciate what goes into each item. So mm -hmm. it's again, it's, it's like an unspoken, just like if you feel like it's probably too much, it's probably too much. Get your lazy bones into the store and or call ahead. Yeah. And you all you also can consider like. If you're a family of five and you're just ordering for a family of five, a restaurant sees a family of five a bunch of times all day, every day in any combination of orders. So if you're just ordering for five people, that's not weird. If you're ordering for 25 people at the office, that's not normal. So there's like that element too. Like yeah. no family of five really needs to think about what they're ordering and if they need to really be ahead to your point, Kendall, because like mm -hmm. that's pretty normal. Four and five people come in and order all the time. That's good to know. So I can stop overthinking that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's because if you if you think about a family of five as at an example like Taco Bell, it's completely reasonable that all of them would order two to three items per person. So mm -hmm. you're talking about anywhere from like five, 10 to 15 items. That's not a big deal, even if they're kind of complex, because you you know it's a certain number of items. If everyone in your family is doing a taco eating contest and there's a family of five, <laughs> then we're talking about like, hey, I need 10, 12 taco combo packs for my family of five who's doing a taco eating contest at youth group. Well, mm -hmm. okay, then let's, you know, let's phone ahead, friend. Yeah. Yeah. And just one other thing, too, because what gets me to say this is that, interestingly enough, there are some places such as Taco Bell where when you order online that doesn't cue them up to start making your food mm. that just sends the order to them and it just hangs out there in cloudland 
until you show up through the drive through and give them your name and then it comes through and then they start making it. Yeah, they I still have is, the oh crap moment. <laughs> they still have the oh crap moment, even if you think that you were alleviating them of that. And I think that that is just poor planning on Taco Bell's part. But akin to that, a while ago, before online ordering was ever a thing, actually, I think before kind of smartphones were a thing at all, um, I was working for a company and I was low man on the totem pole. I was often running out to get lunches for, for the place. And, uh, and so ordering lunch for a bunch of people at a fast food restaurant, I can vouch for the, the, like any place can be a call in place. Cause I would call in to Arby's or to skyline chili or whoever. <clears throat> and most of the time they'll wait, they will take your order and then they'll say, Hey, can you be here in 15 minutes or whatever? And and we just do that. But every once in a while, you get over the phone, like the kid who doesn't know what's going on, doesn't like has zero initiative to even think, well, I don't want to make decisions. It, 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 like you just get to, yeah, I'm ordering for like a bunch of people. Like, do you want me to go ahead and place that order now? And then I can come pick it up in a bit and you'll get a, uh, I don't know, just come in. And like, that'll yeah. be their answer. Something like that. I'm like, okay, well, you're bringing this on yourself now. <laughs> So they'll have no fury like a Kendall scorned. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I think we we thoroughly answered that one here.